Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today we've got a big box. And this has been sat in my house for like a week and a half, probably. And I haven't opened it yet because I thought I'd unbox it with you guys so you can have a nice, special... Do you know, it's like Christmas morning, isn't it? And you open your presents in front of your family. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That was cute. That was quite cute. I'm going to unbox it for you guys and you'll see what it is. You might be able to guess from packaging. Read it. MST and then obviously, well, it did have a ram air thing, but I've took it out. I'll tell you guys what it is before we unbox it, and then we're gonna box it, and you can have the excitement knowing what it is, and it's like, oh. So in this box, I actually have an induction kit for my A1. So obviously, we're gonna be replacing my stock air filter. When I mentioned it on one of my previous videos about where to get one from, everyone was like, well, why don't you go to Forge? But obviously, Forge has an induction kit for the newer Audis not for my one because she's old and ancient it was on backlog so it took about it took about a month to get here but it also cost me 200 pound which is a little bit of a violation but like where have you put my seat i have no idea i think you'll sound it did you give it me yeah no you didn't charlie why would you do that <laughs> so oh my god it's like a goodie box so first up we have the tube. Aluminium hard pipe. Aluminium hard pipe. Oh. That's a weird paint on it, isn't it? It is, it looks like it's like foamy. I don't know if you guys can actually see. It's like a wrinkle. Yeah, it looks foamy, but next up we've got this little thing. We've got a key ring. They give me a sticker. They give me a sticker. That a That's the sickest stick ever! Look at that shit guys! You guys will know I love a sticker so that is going to go on my sunstrip. We've got a Tropical Fruits air freshener. We've got... This is how you join this to something. Hose clamps. And an instruction manual because we all love an instruction manual. We have obviously the air filter so we've got this big boy. That's a beast. You know. Apparently, this is a good one for my car. Apparently, the MS. I love oil. I love oil in it. Got MST there. It's a big one. That's like. That's practically the same size as my head. <laughs> well, they have a very big head, so like. It's not a good comparison, but like for an air fuel, it seems big. Last but not least. We've got the heat shield. This is gonna look fancy. My car's gonna look cool. Look how fucking that's heavy. Look, it's got MST and like engraved. Look, that's a beast. This thing's quite good quality. Like, but before we install the induction kit onto my car, I do want to give a massive shout out to the sponsors of today's video, Car Vertical. So an easy way to minimise anxiety when going to buy a used car and make it as stress free as possible is to do a quick car vertical scan. So if you guys didn't know, Car Vertical is actually a used car history checker that scans through a vehicle's entire history to show you guys if there's any hidden issues such as damage, an odometer rollback, financial issues. So I've actually got a car vertical report here to show you, to give you guys an example of how it works. But before I do show you guys, if you are at all interested, click the link in my description to get an automatic 20% off. Or use my discount code Chloe, which will also get you 20% off. So I've got a car vertical report here from Renault Clio. And as you guys can see, there's a green tick for the financial and legal status. So that is obviously all good. However, there is a warning light for the odometer. And if we click that, we can see this vehicle may have a fake mileage. And as you guys can see, in May 2020, this vehicle had 60,000 miles. However, in June 2020, it had been rolled back to 29,000 miles, which shows that something slightly dodgy could be going on. And it's maybe a slight warning sign just to have a little bit of a deeper look when you go to buy this used car. There's also a warning light for damage. And if I click that, we can see this vehicle was marked an insurance write-off. It was written off as a Category S, so it's repairable, however, there was structural damage. And Car Vertical gives you photos to go along with the damage. And as you guys can see, it is quite a mild bit of damage that could probably easily be kind of fixed and looked like nothing had happened to it. But that's probably not your ideal scenario if you were going to buy a used car that's not been crash damaged. 
So yeah, if you guys are looking at buying a used car and you want to make sure there's no odometer rollbacks, any financial issues, any crash damage issues, anything like that, click the link in my description to get an automatic 20% off car vertical. Or use my discount code Chloe, which will also get you 20% off. And go scan a used car through car vertical today. Um, it's really windy here. We tried to come down this like country road, filmed obviously before with the stock air filter and that sort of stuff. <laughs> Obviously we're going to fit the MSC induction kit which just kind of increase the airflow so obviously I'll get like intake noises and it'll also probably make my blow off valve hopefully or maybe sound a little bit louder, a little bit longer, different, I don't know. We're just going to kind of see, I don't really know. But yeah, let's head back to my grand, get my induction kit installed and then we can see what it sounds like. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, so obviously this is the old air filter inside here. Change that, that comes off. The new one attaches onto this, new pipe, obviously the new air filter. Yeah, so hopefully it should be quite an easy, easy install. Get a little toolbox. It's a mess. He's going to find me the right thing to... And we're going to unbolt all these bolts around there. Do I need to wait for it to cool down? Nah, I'll be all right. Okay. If I burn myself, I'm going to sue ya. Charlie's lost, if you think I'm doing like an um, idiot, Charlie's lost the thing that keeps that in. So it just falls out, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've took all the screws out of these. They're obviously here. We've now got to like pop these. I think I'm too weak to do it, I can't lie. And then we'll take this off. Hey, look, it's my old one that I changed like... It's still dirty, eh? Not that long ago. Yes, yeah, so we've unclipped this one. Pull, pull that off. It's connected to that. Yeah, pull, pull that off there. There you go. That's my old light like, top bit. You spin my head right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first up, we have to put the heat shield and secure it down on here. I'll get a little bit in here. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I I'll, I'll just get that. <laughs> I'll be able to get that. It's fine. But it's fine. It's fucking cold out here, guys. It's literally it's fucking Baltic. It's been so sunny all day, but it's been like so cold. Try not to sniff in the camera, Mike. Okay, so that's all secured in. Charlie's just tightening them up. We're slightly concerned that the boot's not going to shut, but, huh? Bonnet. Oh, bonnet, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, next up we've got to pop this little hose, whatever you want to call it, I think in this hole. Okay, so that slides in, and then I think, you stay there, this connects onto here and onto here. You've got to put the hose clamps on first. Put one on here. You have to like bend it on. And then, put the hose um, pipe, and then put the other hose pipe on. How the fuck are we bending enough for that? You pull it out. Hang on. Push. And then we connect this pipe onto here. Do these clamp on there then? Yeah. On like that. So then we push this air filter. Is that on? In there. Like that? Yep. Fucking hell, I actually did that one. Yeah, man. Hey. Ah. Are you okay? Yeah. Fucking hell, he didn't even pop a hook to himself. So that's all um, connected. We pushed this on a bit more. So obviously that pipe needed to go in and we straightened the logo out because it was like triggering. That'll clamp there. That'll clamp there. Yeah. Then we've got another one to clamp around that bit. And yeah, I think that's it then, isn't it? Yep. Fucking hell, this is like the easiest thing I've ever done. Does this one stay in? Yeah. Oh, I was, I was paranoid. That's so 
sick. I feel like a little. You know, they're really like people that have their really cool cars and they open their engine bay and their engine bay looks really sick and it's like clean and they have it like painted to the colour of their car or whatever. Obviously, we're not at that stage, but like that's kind of cool. I'm going to check the boots. Boot? I'm obsessed bonnet. with boots. I'm going to check the bonnet actually shuts, which it should shut. And then we'll have to turn the power on, guys, and have a listen. Yeah, so obviously that is the induction kit, so we've got a new pipe, <laughs> a little silicon thing. Obviously we've got the new air filter and the new heat shield. I think we should start the car, give it a little rev. We will move somewhere out of the village and give it a proper thing, but we got to get first impressions. Hopefully there's a difference, hopefully. <laughs> and we can show you guys properly we can do a little bit while it's driving see what it sounds like while it's driving but yeah that is the induction kit installed on my a1 actually it's quite sick it looks cool i like the look of it to be fair In. Cause you know it can make my car smell like tropical fruit. Mm. Mm. That's sick. Look, it's got an induction kit on it. There we go, you guys. Yeah, yeah. My sticker. Let's put my sticker on the sun strip. This is actually might be the coolest sticker I've ever had. <laughs> I get really gassed over stickers like company stick. That's a thick sticker too. That is quite sick. Yeah. Right, let's drive somewhere. Show you guys the induction kit. It's really loud because of the wind and the windows. But see if you can hear a difference. It's really hard to tell guys. We think it sounds a little bit we said as well. We feel like we can hear the turbo a little bit, but we can't tell if it's the blow-off valve or the turbo. I think we might... I think it sounds that's, a little bit... That's, yeah, that's your turbo. Though. And my turbo's making like a noise now. It's a little turbo whistle, I think. We got a little turbo flux, we got a little baby... We got a little baby turbo. Am I gonna say it's 300 pounds worth? Probably not. Like, can I know this enough difference to warrant paying three hundred pounds for it? No. Is it better for your car? When you map it, you'll get more power out of it when you map it now. Well, see, well, when I remap it, this is like a work in progress. So when it gets remapped, it'll obviously help with that. It's cool. I like it. It's cool. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, we'll go park up somewhere and I'll show you guys again. Yeah, so it's actually the next day. Um, we've been kind of driving it around. The only thing I've really noticed is I think it's made the exhaust sound deeper. Like, it sounds quite good. Like I quite like it. But I don't know it's a massive difference except for the exhaust sounds a lot deeper. You can kind of hear it, I think. Yeah, there's not really a major like noise difference. In the future, when I remap it, I was going to need an induction kit anyway, so it's not a waste of money because like I was going to need to buy one anyway. It's probably not as big a difference I was, as I would have probably liked, especially for the range of fucking pound. Like, you're having a laugh, aren't you? But yeah, it's, it was needed anyway, so I'm glad I got it. Um, obviously, it's all installed, so it's ready for when I do get remapped. So let me know if you hear any difference. Obviously, it's different in person to what picks up on camera as well, but let me know what you think. 
It's so windy, so I actually don't know what you're going to be able to hear, if I'm honest. But I picked about the worst two days to film this. You can hear it here. Be like over in over fueling, but it sounds cool, so I don't really care. But yeah, that's obviously the induction kit fitted onto my Audi A1. It's cool, I like it, like, it does make a slight difference. It makes the exhaust sound deeper, you can kind of hear it. Being completely honest with you guys, I don't think there's a massive difference. Like, I, I did expect more, especially for how expensive it kind of was. But again, we got, we were going to need this when we remapped it anyway, so it's not a massive deal. Um, at, least we got it, at least we got it done, it's sorted now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, because I think it is cool, and it looks cool. Like, when I open my engine, I'm like, yeah, it looks kind of cool. So I'll, I'm happy with it just for that. Uh, but yeah, I am unfortunately going to end today's video here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, follow me on Instagram at chl underscore dot oe. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll see you, or we'll see you, in my next video. Bye!